Hey guys, I was wandering through my favorite store, Home Depot, today and found another lock that I've seen these more and more around town. These are truck locks. They put them on doors. Comes with a frame. We'll pull it out in a minute. But uh, again, Home Depot, and I paid I paid thirty about thirty seven dollars for this plus tax. And I was just curious, curious enough to pay thirty seven dollars to see how tough these things are. I mean, they're my master lock, so let's kind of figure it out. This is how it comes packaged. Um, heavy duty steel. It's the model. Looks like M736. Got our keys in there. So let's get it out of the box and see what we got. Here. Um, looks like it's tied in there with some kind of zip ties. Cut those off of there. They don't want this to fall out of the package, obviously. Okay. Anyway, as I said, very, very heavy duty. This is really a heavy steel. Um, master plastered all over it, and the idea is that this bracket uh, is mounted on each side of the door. So when this is on, you can't open the door. You can see that we've got a lot of reinforcement, some armoring around the outside of this. So if we even if we had a sledgehammer there, this it, the box doesn't it doesn't come in the box, but there are six screws that hold this frame onto the frame of the vehicle. So even if we have a really heavy hammer, we're probably not going to be smashing through this steel frame, this steel bracket. The body of the lock itself also very heavy steel. You can see how that fits into the back, and there's a locking bar. We'll, we'll take, as a matter of fact, let's take a look at that right now. Uh, it comes with two keys, and let's take a look at the key. It looks like it looks like five pins. Nothing spectacular, and I don't know exactly how it operates. Oh, there we go. So that comes out. There we go. And you can see you shove that in there and you lock it. And that bar goes through these two these two holes on the hasp itself and holds it onto the vehicle. So that's what we're looking at. So let's lock it back up. Oops. So we slide it on there, shove it in, lock it up. There we go. Completely locked. Well, you can see that this we've mounted flat against the vehicle. So uh, to try to take, uh, I'm not going to put this in a vise. That really wouldn't be a fair evaluation. If we try to use top of the keyway in the way that it's designed, let me put the, this up a little bit. We're going to put our top of the keyway in, but as we apply tension, it's going to knock against the frame as you see up at the top here. So we wouldn't be able to put too much tension on that before we hit the side of the vehicle or we hit this steel bar and that's not really fair. Likewise, it's going to be impossible for us to put a bottom of the keyway inside of there because again, the frame is in the way. But if we take our normal bottom of the keyway and we just align it in the top like so, if we can keep a little bit of balance, perhaps we can get in there that way. So let's try that. Let's assume that this is mounted on the vehicle. Um, and I'm simply going to take my top of the keyway, the short one, I'm going to put it into the top of the keyway. And by doing it like that, I can put a little bit of tension on it. In fact, I can tension it fairly normally. Then I'm just going to take my pick, and again, I'm in a disadvantage, because if we try to hold our pick normally, we can't get in there. It's too much of an angle. But if we hold it sideways, perhaps we can pick this lock. So let's see if we can't do that. All right, in the keyway, a little bit of tension. The angle is everything here, fellas. And there we go. Pull it out. I'm going to have to put my pick in there to pull that core out. And we are open. So thank you, Master Lock, for securing my vehicle full of electronic equipment or paint or whatever business I happen to be in. 
that was absolutely too easy and I didn't think it was going to be that easy. I figured there must be security pins inside of there, but in fact, it, I don't think there are. That was just too easy. Let's just, uh, since we have it out, let's just see if we can't rake it real quick and that will confirm for us. If I can get some tension from the bottom, we'll know for sure. Let me try a different tension wrench. Okay, let's get a Bogota in there. This is when things start going wrong, right? Okay. Maybe not as easy as I thought. Nope. Not gonna not gonna cooperate with me here. One more shot. Okay, we can't really rake it. it doesn't want to. I think it's probably a problem with the uh, tensioning. But we can sure pick it in a hurry. That's for sure. Unlocked again. What a piece of. Uh, well, you make your own decision. This thing was thirty-seven dollars for a model M seven three six. I have to tell you, the American model is probably only a few dollars more, but it's about a hundred times harder to pick and much higher level of security. So make your decision yourself. There you go, fellas. Everybody stay safe. Stay legal. Thanks. All right, sorry for this addendum, but I just couldn't resist this uh, uh, raking opportunity. I couldn't understand why uh, I couldn't rake it. So I have it reinstalled. Everything is secure again. Still locked in place. I can't believe I can pick it so easily, but it wouldn't rake. So... I'm going to use the same technique as if this is installed on a vehicle and securing something and just take a Bogota and just see if we can't make it open. And there we go. So it does open. Uh, all i got to use is a pick to pull it out, but uh, there you go. It is open. So we can rake it or we can SPP it or we can probably spit on it and we're going to get this thing to unlock. So don't lock up your stuff with this, guys. Find something better.